evening, everyone, and thank you for tuning in this evening for Vespers. Uh, as we conclude this uh, week, in a sense, uh, Friday here of this second week of Easter, I hope you've had a wonderful day. Uh, it was a very nice day outside, and I hope you were able to enjoy some of the weather. It has, it has been rather cold the rest of the week, so uh, got some projects done around the house outside today here at the Galena household. So I hope you had a wonderful day, and uh, as we join together uh, to offer this evening sacrifice of thanksgiving, uh, we, we give thanks to God for today. So our hymn for this evening is the second one uh, that is an option in uh, the I Breviary, I Know That My Redeemer Lives. So we will sing that this evening. So let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. rescued my life from the grasp of hell. Alleluia. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. He has turned his ear to me in the day I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back my soul to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has rescued my life from the grasp of hell. Alleluia. The Lord watches over his people and protects them as the apple of his eye. Alleluia. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains from where shall come my help. My help shall come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Let him sleep not, your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard and your shade. At your right hand he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming both now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord watches over his people and protects them as the apple of his eye. Alleluia. 
The Lord is my strength. I shall always praise him, for he has become my Savior. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory due your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my strength. I shall always praise him, for he has become my Savior. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Son, though he was, Christ learned obedience from what he suffered. And when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, designated by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. To destroy the power of hell, Christ died upon the cross. Clothed in strength and glory, he triumphed over death on the third day. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, died upon the cross, clothed in strength and glory. He triumphed over death on the third day. Alleluia. Let us praise Christ, the source of all life and the foundation of all virtue. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. Jesus, our Savior, you died in your human nature, but were restored to life by the Spirit. Make us die to sin and live by the Spirit. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. You sent your disciples into the whole world to preach the gospel to every creature. Inspire those who preach the gospel to live by your Spirit. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. All power in heaven and on earth has been given to you to bear witness to the truth. Keep the hearts of those who govern us faithful to the truth. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. You make all things new and command us to wait and watch for your kingdom. Grant that the more we look forward to a new heaven and a new earth, the more we may seek to better this present world. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. You went down among the dead to bring them the good news of the gospel. 
be the great joy and hope of all the dead. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. We pray for an end to the pandemic, for all those who are sick, for all those who are working in the, the medical field and manufacturing to, uh, to help those who are sick. We pray for those who have died, that the Lord will bring them to himself. We pray for all family members who are unable to be with their loved ones during this time. And we pray that God will comfort all of them. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. We pray for our parish family, for all members of our parish, uh, and all of their family, family members uh, during this time of uh, physical distancing, that we may be close in spirit. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. We pray for all who are uh, maybe beginning to lose hope or having anxiety or depression due to, uh, due to the isolation and the stay-at-home orders, uh, that people may uh, reach out to them or they may reach out to others who will give them uh, comfort and peace during this time. We pray, Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. We continue to pray for all of our priests in the diocese and all, all priests throughout the world, especially those who are closest to us. We pray for uh, Father Pogemeyer, who will be our pastor July 1st, for Father Doug as he be, uh, prepares to transition to Defiant St. John. We pray for uh, Father Todd's continued uh, healing and his uh, leave of absence for medical reasons. And uh, we pray for all those who have served uh, our parish so faithfully over the years. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. We now call to mind those prayers which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray for them. Lord, establish your kingdom in the world. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, hope of light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and to ever extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for tuning in this evening and joining me to pray Vespers. I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your evening. Our schedule to, for tomorrow is still a little bit up in the air, so please watch the Facebook page. Uh, I'll have the schedule up there before long, just as we figure out what, what is going to be taking place tomorrow. But I hope you have a wonderful evening, and, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.